Hi, in this video, I am going to walk through the whole uh, Cisco vManage UI. Cisco vManage UI is uh, one of the controller out of the three controllers in Cisco SD-WAN. So other two controllers are vSmart and vBond. So a typical uh, vManage UI looks like as soon as you log into this particular GUI. You can see here uh, we have two vSmarts. Uh, when you click on those uh, vSmart, you can get uh, what all those two vSmarts means. What is the system IP and what is the uh, host name of those vSmarts and what is the version, all those information. And then <clears throat> after that, you can see here there are 17 WAN edges. WAN edges are nothing but WAN routers that are part of this uh, Cisco uh, SD-WAN overlay. So, when you click further on that, you will get the information of all the WAN edges or WAN routers and you can also uh, check any information you want. For example, what is the version that each uh, WAN edge is uh, running and uh, what is the system IP, what is the site ID, what is the device model, all those information you get, get it from here. So then there is vbond information you can see only one vbond is part of this uh, particular stvn overlay or stvn fabric and there's one vmanage uh, which to which we have logged in uh, the reboot section shows uh, how many reboots has been happened from last 24 hours right right now you can see the zero reboots so the warning with respect to certificate if uh, the certificate is invalid or it is going to expire then you will get uh, a warning or invalid uh, status here so right now there is no warning and there is no routers or there is no controllers which are in warning state or invalid state so further if you come down there is a control status and what is this control status is like uh, all the devices will form a control connection to the uh, three all the three uh, controllers so the control status will show uh, how many control status are up uh, means uh, control connections are up uh, between the vSmart and the uh, v, uh, vSmart and the WAN edges or uh, WAN routers. So uh, you can see uh, on the further right uh, there is something like uh, site health. You can see the WAN uh, full WAN connectivity is on 16 sites. Uh, there is no partial WAN connectivity or no WAN connectivity. So what it means is that uh, uh, we have the WAN routers. Uh, if in on any one of the WAN routers, if the tunnel uh, is down or that system is not uh, forming the tunnel with uh, any other WAN routers, that is uh, the WAN route. One of the WAN router is not forming that any of uh, tunnel with any of the WAN router, then you can tell that there is a no WAN connectivity on one side, right? Similarly, what is partial WAN connectivity? Think like that there are two uh, interfaces that is part of the WAN uh, and one of them was able to form the tunnel to other uh, sites, but uh, another one was not able to form. Then you can see the partial WAN connectivity on that side. So the further, to the further right, we have a transport interface distribution uh, that will give uh, the details on each and every uh, interface, uh, how much bandwidth has been utilized, all those information. If you want to check uh, the details about it, you can just go and click view, uh, view percentage. Uh, you will check here that uh, there are uh, uh, 0 to 25. Mm -hmm that is the utilization of the bandwidth and if you want to check uh, all the interfaces you can uh, check here if you want to check the highest uh, utilization interface you can filter it out like this so uh, there is one interface g0 slash 0 that is uh, utilizing 0 0.2 mbps of uh, traffic that means 0 0.2 mbps of traffic is flowing on that particular interface and the system ip is 1.1.7 <coughs> 
when you further go down we have a vanage inventory in that you can see there are total 17 vanages authorized is 17 deployed is 17 and there is no staging so uh, what do you mean by uh, authorized and deployed uh, and staging so and the vanages uh, uh, in the inventory you can put as many as uh, vanages you want so for example if i'll in the 17 if i'll put another extra two and then it will become 19 so now the thing is that uh, i have to make that vanage valid then only it will come as an authorized and deployed in the sense uh, once it is authorized it, whether it has been uh, the part of uh, this particular st van overlay or not so there is something called staging where uh, we can put some of the routers into the staging and uh, during staging period uh, the router will have only con form only control connection but it will not form the tunnels between the other vanage routers so you can see uh, there is vanage health uh, you can uh, you can see the all vanages is in normal state so there we have 17 vanages all are normal so when it will go to warning or error is uh, in the time when uh, the CPU or memory utilization has been cross rear cross threshold. Uh, for example, uh, things like that might I have configured minimum threshold as 60% and maximum threshold as 80%. Uh, and if they, any WAN router crosses uh, a memory utilization of more than 60%, then it will give a warning. When it crosses further 80%, more than 80%, then it will give an error and on the down we have a top application and that will tell what all the uh, top application that has been utilized means in this whole st1 overlay so if you want to check more detail on that you can just go and click here uh, think like that if i want to check uh, there is something like binary over http is the highest utilized application if i want to check who is utilizing it I can just go and click on that and then I will get uh, devices uh, system IP. So the device system IP is nothing but the system IP of the vanages. So they are telling that there are two vanages who are utilizing this uh, uh, particular uh, traffic or particular application traffic more. If you want to further click and check uh, who are the end hosts, for example, end host in the sense any laptop or any desktop that is connected to uh, the vanage or van router it will give the information you can see there is a uh, host which is with ip 192.168.1.2 uh, that has utilized this traffic and uh, to the destination ip of 13.235.126.144 it will also give what is the destination port all those information and uh, further you can see uh, what is the source ip and what is the destination ip all those information and the number of octets that has been exchanged <coughs> so what we'll do is we'll go to uh, next tab in the uh, dashboard section that is vpn dashboard uh, if you click on this you will uh, get information about all the VPNs, uh, VPNs here in the sense uh, service VPNs. Again, VPNs has been divided into service VPN, management VPN, and uh, transport VPN. And transport VPN uh, is like uh, is uh, what you call it as a reserved VPN, and it will be always used on the WAN interfaces. That is uh, any interface that is a service provider facing interface, or WAN, also called as WAN interface. So uh, there is management v VPN, uh, VPN ID is 512. So that is used only for out of band management purpose. And there's something called service VPN, service VPN or nothing but uh, which is connected to the LAN, LAN side of the network. So if you click further here, you can see I have uh, three VPNs, VPN 11, 12 and 13. When I click on VPN 11, you will get all the VPN 11 information. So in VPN 11, uh, remember there are total 17 vanages in VPN 11. Now we have 15 vanages and uh, for all those 15 vanages site health is uh, good. That is uh, the full van connectivity is there for all the 14 uh, sites out of 15 vanages. That means uh, two van routers are part of a single site. So all uh, vanage health is good, it is normal and further you can see the applications or top uh, talkers of uh, top talkers in this uh, particular VPN, service VPN. 
so if i want to check other uh, vpns like vpn 12 i can further click on that so you can see there is no top talkers or top application utilized in this particular vpn and there are two devices which are part of vpn 12 and they are all having uh, full wan connectivity and uh, wan edge health is good if i want to check who all those vpns uh, sorry who all those uh, wan routers i can click and i can check it so the wan routers are vh9 and vh10 and its system ip is 1.1.9 and 1.1.10 so now uh, what i will do is i will go to uh, security section of dashboard uh, in the security section, you will get all the information about security like firewall enforcement uh, and IPS if any top signature has hap happened or URL filtering uh, and advanced malware protection. Right now, I don't have um, statistics for uh, top signature hit or URL filtering. So uh, let us check is, is there any allowed uh, we can check. Yeah, you can get. For allowed URL filtering, yeah, we have some statistics. Uh, so for advanced malware protection, we don't have. We will discuss this on when uh, any security section comes into picture. Now there is something called a monitor section in the dashboard where you can uh, click on the geography. When you click on the geography, uh, it will show where exactly our device is situated. For example, we have uh, 19 uh, VHS or uh, sorry 19 WAN routers or WAN HS uh, sitting in uh, for example if I click here uh, it will it is showing it is sitting in the Bangalore and another three uh, somewhere again in the Bangalore in some other place right uh, this is with respect to geography dashboard and there is something in monitoring something called network so uh, network is one of the uh, most important uh, section uh in this dashboard because you will get all the troubleshooting tools uh, in this particular dashboard uh, for example if i want to uh, do any troubleshooting i can go to uh, any particular van edge for example if i click uh, uh, vh1 and that is one of my van router it will take you to uh, one of the dashboard uh, that is system status it will show how many reboots have been happened uh, after this particular van edge has joined the uh, st van overlay and what is how many crashes has happened after that all those information you can get for example if i want to uh, get more information about uh, what is uh, what all my control connections i can click on control connection i can get the information so now uh, you can also check uh, events uh, events in the sense any event has happened on this particular router uh, what what do you mean by events events such as like any uh, fib update happened for example any new route has uh, been received or not all those information you will get in the events so <clears throat> if you want to check uh, events uh, in 24 hours 12 hours or 6 hours you can uh, click that if you want to use the custom button you can do that also you can select any date and any uh, any time start date and end date and you can uh, check that uh, events on uh, the start and the end date so then we have something called troubleshooting where we will do a lot of troubleshooting from here uh, for example if i will uh, click uh, bring uh, device bring up you can check uh, whether this uh, device has been authorized by vbond uh, and it is having proper data plane connectivity proper control plane connectivity all this information we will get so again you can see the control connection from here also so this is the same as what control connection we saw uh, from this particular section so you can do ping uh, from here to whatever destination ip you want for example, I want to ping to 10.1.2.1 uh, that is uh, sitting on VPN 11 on another side of the vantage means uh, uh, this particular 10.2.1 10.1.2.1 is the uh, network of the LAN network of VH2. Now we are in VH1. So when I try to ping, uh, you can see uh, it will give you a statistics. Uh, and tell that ping is successful or not 
uh, you can see here uh, it will give a summary like five packets has been transmitted and packet receipts is four and there is a 20 percent of losses there so not only icmp you can even do tcp or udp ping uh, choosing any uh, port numbers i will just select port number 2000 and i will read means i will resend the ping again now it is on udp there is not an ic icmp so again i will get the same uh, kind of statistics so <clears throat> now you can also do trace route from here uh, for example i will again do a trace route to 10.1.2.1 uh, on vpn 11 so once you will do you can check here that uh, uh, how the trace route went and uh, then i can also do a speed test here uh, for example i can select any circuit circuit in the source circuit in the sense the vanage so you know, basically in uh, cisco st van we can give the colors to the uh, van interfaces so one of the uh, circuit color is business uh, inter uh, sorry business internet and you can check you can use any destination device for me i'm choosing vh2 and i'll choose destination circuit again as business internet and i'll give a st uh, start test you will get all the information about what is the speed what is the download speed what is the upload speed all those information so let us wait for some time uh, and you will get the information so you can see the speed uh, test is in progress so if you have done the speed test earlier you can check it here uh, I, again i have done it to the uh, vh2 earlier on 17 december 2019 and at that time the download uh, speed was 221.56 and upload speed was 217.3 mbps so it is in mbps so the, the our speed test for download speed has been completed you can see it is 217.3 mbps and upload speed is 216.21 mbps right so <clears throat> what i will do is i will go back again to the main dashboard and uh, we will check uh, the another thing that we can do here is simulate packet flow so uh, what we can do here is uh, we can uh, do a simulation uh, from this tool again uh, where we do simulation uh, for any kind of uh, traffic that is application traffic for example uh, again for vpn 11 with source ip standard 1.1.1 i will do uh, uh, and simulation of traffic for one of the application for example i will uh, try to use a sap application uh, and do a simulation you can see here uh, now it is getting load balance so if you want to check some any other application for example a big uh, meeting or something you can do and uh, do a simulation again you can see here uh, it is getting load balance between the mpls link and business internet link right so now uh, there is something uh, we can see the packet capture so if you go here uh, what we can do here is that we can capture the packet on any of the device in this particular uh, whole uh, what you call it as uh, you can select uh, any of the vanage or van router in the whole st van uh, overlay uh, and you can select on which vpn you want to capture the packet on what interface you want to capture the packet all those info all those things you can select from here so what i will do is i, I have selected uh, one of the interface on vpn 0 uh let us uh, start the capturing right you can see here the capture has been started uh, it is in progress uh, by default it will capture for five minutes or uh, maximum is 5 mb uh, of file so if you don't want to wait until then and if you want to stop it you can just click it here and it will get stopped so uh, now the file is getting prepared for download once it is getting prepared we can download the file and we can uh, check the all the information in the packet so now uh, it has been downloaded i am opening that so i am opening uh, using wireshark so you can see here 
uh, what is the source and what is the destination what is the protocol that is happening so my source is 20.1.1.200 this is the ip address of my vmanage so from vmanage to destination of 11.1.1.2 this is one of the ip address of my vpn0 interface you can see there is a dtls protocol uh, uh, exchange the protocol is dtls uh, that is because uh, the information that flows between any controller and uh, the van edge in uh, Cisco ST van is using DTLS protocol. So, <clears throat> and the uh, van edge to van edge information or van router to van router uh, traffic flow happens only on IPsec. So, uh, <clears throat> next, uh, what we will do here is uh, we will go to if you want to change the device, you can change it here. For example, I will select. Uh, any other device right or uh, I can go to VH like this and I can go back to the troubleshooting from here I can select any of the other devices for example again I'll go to <coughs> one of our router that is ISR double one double zero uh, where uh, let us check is any information there in intrusion prevention there is no data from last six hours let us check in last seven days if any hit happened yes there is uh, some hits happen uh, on the august 38 and again august on august 31st if you want to check uh, what is this particular uh, ips signature and the ips hit that has happened what is the signature description you can connect uh, you can click on that you will get uh, the information from which source to which destination actually the uh, signature it has happened if you further want to get more information on this particular signature you click on this link it will take you to the talos uh, website uh, you can read about all the rule category and what is the message uh, and explanation and what impact and that particular uh, uh, means signature has or malware, malware has so all those information you can get uh, now let us see if any url filtering has happened i can see uh, yes there is a lot of uh, sites that has been blocked in which uh, adult and pornography uh, sites are also there gambling sites are there there are some sites which has been blacklisted um, by the admin and there are some reputation blocks all this information you can get so you can get how many uh, sessions uh, it has happened means that means how many times the uh, particular uh, device has tried to access these particular sites right so if you see uh, there are more than one case sites and uh, you can click and check it also means if you don't want to if you want to deselect it you can deselect and select it back again so then uh, uh, we have something called uh, uh, real time okay in the real time you can check uh, what is my uh, routing table for example if i will give ip route uh, i will get uh, the routing table for all my vpns uh, it, it came here you can see here uh, I have destination prefix or 000 slash 0 so it is showing the next top as 12.1.165 and uh, if you further go down uh, this is on the VPN default means that is VPN 0 default VPN in the sense and on VPN 11 we have uh, another default route uh, and then on VPN 11 we have uh, routes that has been learned from system IP and the system IP uh, that is 1.1.1.1 so uh, from which host uh, the host name what is the host name you will also get here and what is the route type that is IPv4 alright so then uh, what we will do here I will just show uh, the tunnel information in the van so if you go here uh, you can get the tunnel information with respect to the loss with respect to uh, the application utilization uh, all those information for example uh, you can see here the jitter loss all those information you can get here 
so now uh, there's something called uh, seven days and there's something called real time so you can uh, choose the option chart option also where you want to check a loss uh, percentage or latency editor you can check here and you can also check the octets in the real time means what it will do is it will uh, show you a uh, very beautiful graph if any uh, traffic is there in the background uh, right now there is no traffic hence it is not showing uh, uh, that much of traffic for example if you check here it is just showing uh, very less amount of traffic right means something around 500 bytes of traffic so uh, now uh, what we will do here is uh, if anything is there you can go here and check the dpi application also if any uh, what it will uh, show us uh, what is the application that has been utilization on this particular device so uh, for example if i click on web traffic uh, it will show what all the traffic that has been utilized uh, for example you can see here there's a, a huge amount of youtube traffic has been uh, uh, means uh, that much amount means there is huge amount of youtube traffic is there uh, there is a amount to 7.78 percent so if you further click on this uh, you will get who all the devices that is uh, try to access this particular uh, youtube application you can see the source is 10.1.2.23 and the destination is some public ip that means that uh, it is uh, something with uh, means it might be an IP of in YouTube okay so you can further check uh, what is the how many octets and what is the destination port and what is the source IP and what is the destination IP all those information so if you want to filter out you can uh, filter out here uh, you can do that filtering also okay so uh, then what I will do is I will take you to the alarm section uh, where in the alarms you can uh, get all the alarms for example it is showing for it is showing the alarms from for last seven days if you don't want for last seven days you can go and click here you can check for last 24 hours what all the alarms has been generated uh, in our case there is uh, interface operation status uh, went down and up and you can see here at what date uh, the interface went down and and the date and time at which it has been cleared and this is a critical alarm if you further want to know uh, which interface particular interface went down you can uh, go and check here so it is telling on the system ip 1.1.15 uh, gigabit is 0 slash 1 slash 0 went down if you want to download the alarms uh, you can go here and download and that will save as .csv file you can save uh, wherever you want then uh, if you want to uh, get an email notification uh, whenever when any, any alarms get generated you can do that also uh, you can just uh, use a webhook and then you have to give the webhook url uh, and then you have to give your uh, email id so uh, now after that uh, what we'll do is we'll go to events uh, uh, events you know as already i have told uh, it will give if any uh, sla change happened or any dhcp address has been renewed for example one of my router is using dhcp to get the ip address so if uh, any renewal happen with respect to DHCP or any FIB updates happen, for example, any route change happen or any new route has been received on that particular vanish router, it will uh, give an, as an it will come as an event. So then after that, there's a configuration section where we can do the configuration on the devices. So uh, first thing we can get is the uh, device uh, or vanish list when we click on the device. So there is a vanish list and uh, in beside there is something called controllers. So where you'll get the information of the controllers. Uh, now let us go and check uh, the vanish list. For example, in this particular vanish list again, it will give all the information about the vanish or van router and what is the template assigned to those van routers. What is the system IP? What is the site ID? So whether it is in sync or not, uh, so all those information you can get it here. 
so then if you you can also check the running configurations uh, by just checking uh, clicking here on the running configuration instead of going to the device each and every just checking the running configuration logging into the device uh, instead of that we can do it from here itself you can just check the running configuration from here so uh, uh, the next uh, tab that i'm going to show here is the certificate tab uh, where we do all the uh, validation or invalidation of the devices we will do a, a certification for example uh, installation of a root certificate uh, in our case we will uh, install csr certificate on any of the uh, controller if you want to install any of the uh, csr certificate or generate csr you can tell generate csr if you want to see the certificate you can see here and on the vanish list uh, what you can do here is you can uh, make the router as uh, either invalid or you can move it to staging or you can move it to valid all those you can uh, all those uh, particular tasks you can do here so then uh, we have a template uh, section where we will attach the template onto the device uh, template is something like instead of configuring uh, the device using cli we will configure the device as you using template so uh, this is very uh, helpful when you are pushing bulk configuration when you are changing a uh, lot of configurations at a time or uh, there are uh, four to five devices uh, which are having same kind of configuration uh, then you can push uh, those configurations at a time uh, so it will save a lot of time instead of going and doing configuration of in configuration on each and every device you can do it via template uh, there is something like a policy section here where we create the policies uh, there is something called centralized policy and localized policy so localized policy is local to the vanage whereas centralized policy is, uh, is a centralized one so we will do all the policy uh, attach attachment here creation of the policy and attaching what to uh, attaching on to the um, sites or vpns we will do from here so uh, then we have again a security uh, tab section we will do all the security related configurations for example uh, in our case we will do firewall con configurations ipls uh, url filtering all those configurations we will do from here i'll jo just show one example uh, what all things will configure and how easy it is to configure all these things for, for example if i want to configure any firewall i have to just go into this section and then i have to uh, create it and now i will just showing you the edit here you can see here uh, there are uh, a zone i have configured the uh, zone based firewall where uh, under rule one we have the action drop uh, to protocol ssh right and on the rule two we have inspect so we are inspecting all the traffic uh, that is uh, coming from the target zone coming to the source zone right uh, then if we want to configure sorry i have to just cancel it uh, if you want to configure url filtering you can go to url filtering and again in url filtering what you can do here is you can you have to choose the for which vpn you are attaching this url filtering you can see here uh, you can block uh, the websites using web category for example in my case gambling adult and pornography and malware sites have been blocked and there is something called web reputation means each and every site has their reputation which is uh, given the rank or number from 1 to 100 so uh, uh, if you check the drop down you can uh, see here there is high risk websites suspicious websites moderate risk low risk and trustworthy so uh, you can select uh, websites as per the reputation of it if you want to block it or what so i'm blocking uh, the websites which has a reputation uh, which is uh, the suspicious right in the advanced section you can also give the uh, url blacklist and black uh, you can blacklist the urls uh, and you can give it and then uh, you can also uh, redirect the url if something has been blocked okay 
so now uh, further we will go to uh, the section which is the tool uh, where we will go to first ssh here uh, in this section uh, uh, in this particular using this tool you can ssh to any device uh, you can just have to give uh, double click here and you can log into the device by ssh so instead of uh, using some other application to log into the device we can directly log in via vmanage you can do all those uh, uh, for example if i want to view show run i can check the show running configuration or if you want to check uh, show interface information you can show that also from here right this is again uh, logging the device via ssh if you want to log in you can do here and then uh, we have something called software repository where we will have uh, we will put uh, the software we will download and put it the software here uh, we can manage the software from we can manage software from here and then we have something uh, a section called software upgrade where you can upgrade the devices from uh, this particular tab uh, just go click here and select any device you want to upgrade and you just tell upgrade it again uh, you will uh, get the version which is available for upgradation you can select it and then you can go here and give the activate and reboot so right now i don't want to upgrade it i will cancel this upgradation so uh, we can do the device reboot from here itself if you want to do a device reboot just you have to go here uh, select and you have to give the uh, reboot and then we have uh, something like administration uh, administration settings where we will do all those uh, uh, configuration with, with respect to the admin whatever configuration he will do uh, so you can see here uh, one of the information that we will get is the tenancy mode the single tenant and any ips signature update you want to do from the um, internet you can enable that all those information you can configure from here so uh, there is something called uh, uh, cluster management where uh, we will manage the we manage in clusters okay if you want to have more than one we manage uh, you can manage it via clusters so uh, uh, again you can go here and do in uh, vpn groups if you want to create the vpn groups so uh, that's all from my side on this particular we manage you a walkthrough there are a lot of information uh, that you can get it from here there are a lot of things that you can do i have st uh, still missed a lot of things from this particular we manage ui but uh, the basic uh, things that we can do from the we manage ui that i have shown in this video uh, that's all from my side thank you for watching this video bye bye